again. We meet that man, he's Ron Johnson, 10 past eight. And Material Mum says she wants to chum for door out of his lung to try to save a dying girl. 10 past eight. 8.20, we're talking Madonna, 25 to nine, a sneak preview of uh, Toy Story 2, half-term blockbuster, and Dr. Hillary here to take your calls about fitness in old age. 20 to nine, he's doing that. But getting us underway, first of all, he dared risk the wrath of farm. Now then, we often hear, don't we, of people selflessly helping others. But just how far would you go to help a complete stranger? I wonder how far would any of us go? Well, have a look at this man here. And this is Ron Johnson. He flew halfway across the world to donate 20% of his lung in an attempt to save the life of Lisa Ostrovsky. There she is there, bless her, with her little friend. She was a 10-year-old girl who suffered from cystic fibrosis. Tragically, Lisa died on New Year's Day, and that was six weeks after her operation. Such a shame. Uh, but Ron and his wife, Denise, join me now. Well, I can see from that picture there, Ron, part of why you did that. I mean, all of us would think we would do it, but not many of us actually do. What, what made you do that? Well, it's a 10-year-old girl looking at me from out of a newspaper, and um, she was dying, and I think any anybody would help if they can i mean it's, it's but they the wouldn't you see ron as i said a lot of us would and, and we see these cases all too often now about people who need organs donated desperately bone marrow donated desperately and we all sit and look and think how dreadfully sad it all is but not many people actually do what you did well i think it's like if you saw a child going out into the street and there was a lorry coming on coming along and you know you could save that child um but you can't stop and say, well, perhaps somebody else will do it. But in this case, um, as soon as I saw that newspaper article, I could freeze time, mm -hmm. I could freeze that lorry coming, and I could make my mind up whether I was going to help or not. So I'd got a week or so to, to decide. She had a week to live at that stage, she didn't did. she? Well, she had a week to live once I got to the States. Mm -hmm. um, so that was a... The first time I heard about it was September, mm. so she had uh, she was still in Israel then. Mm. Um, but you had time to make your mind up. Mm. So, it's, um, but I mean, it, it is incredible, especially as you have a fear of flying as well. And then yeah. you did went halfway around the world, gave up twenty percent <laughs> of your lung, and unfortunately, as we know now, Lisa died. Poor yeah. little. Girl. But you still think it was worth it? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yes, I'll do it again tomorrow if if need be. Mm. Um, it was just such a tragedy that it didn't work out mm. but we had to give it a shot and hopefully the surgeons will have learnt from the operation and the next child that comes along perhaps the operation will be better and they'll be able to save and, and they'll be able to save the child yeah. yeah Denise what did you think about Ron doing this because after all you know he has your family he has two sons to think about he has you to think about did you were you behind him all the way I was once I realized that he was serious and that he understood the implications, which I went through with him in some detail. Mm. Yeah. You didn't try to dissuade him at all? Because some people might think, although it was trying to save the life of one little girl, as I say, he has your two sons and you. Some people That's might right. think, well, it's a bit selfish. Yeah. No, I didn't think it was selfish, but I wanted him to realise that there were serious problems that could happen afterwards. And uh, we, we did discuss it with one of our sons who lives at home. The other one lives away, so we couldn't really discuss it in great detail with him. But they were they were anxious as well be because of his health afterwards yeah and talking of which ron how, how is your health now oh, i'm fine thank you um i couldn't play football at the moment i've got a broken rib and um uh, some infection yeah. inside, you have swelling but, don't uh, you around, yeah. around the scar um, but apart from that i'm i'm fine you know so um bring back Tyson and I'll tackle him. Oh, yeah, I, I would like to be in the <laughs> ring with you, I can tell you. And are you still in touch with Lisa's family? There's a, there's yeah. a bond, yeah, there's a bond Yeah, there, we, we talk to them on the telephone or email every other day or so. Oh. And we were hoping to possibly get them to talk to us today, but there's a special, um, uh, it's 30 days since everything happened and they have a they have a ser special service today. Oh, right, so they, so they really couldn't talk to us today. Oh. Um, but we're getting them over hopefully in June to Northampton so they can have a break away from everything and give them a holiday. Oh, lovely. I'm sure yeah. they're glad they met you. They're really good Samaritan. Thanks yeah. very much indeed, Ron and Denise. Thank you, Thank you for coming in this Thank morning. You.
Remarkable, so isn't it? A true, a true act of goodness, Ron, mm. in a world where there's not much of it about. Mm. I think you've done tackled more than Tyson will ever tackle. Actually, <laughs> well, I, I just wish we had his money. The, the operation did. cost eight hundred thousand pounds, yeah. mm. and the family still owe two hundred thousand mm. pounds. So they're in desperate straits. Mm. So I just wish Tyson would hand over a little bit, bit of his cash. five million. Yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> Thanks very well, much. Well, you can you can see a documentary about uh, Ron's. Uh, Good Deed is Act of Mercy. It's on Channel 4 tonight. It's on half past nine. Uh, you can look forward to that. Up next on our programme this morning, Why Material Mother.